Welcome back to another day with Mama Sue. I'm still on as of today. Of course, I think um, my message was, was that I had 48 more hours, but um, I'm still here, and as long as they don't close me down, I'll still be sharing recipes, and I'll be sharing some encouraging words with you. Um, it's Friday. It's been a busy day here. I have... Um, I went to a friend's house who gave me some canning jars and got those. And then since I've been home, I have uh, canned six pints of pear preserves that I had peeled yesterday. So it has been a busy day and so I didn't want to cook a big supper. And uh, I thought I would share with you how we do grilled cheese at times to make it a little different. Now. I'm not gonna say I do this every time because sometimes I just put the regular cheese on the bread and that's it. But I'm gonna make two grilled cheese sandwiches and I'm gonna make both of them different. On one, I'm gonna put pepper jack cheese on one side and the regular American cheese on the other side. Now in between these two slices of cheese, I'm gonna put some pear preserves. These are the pears that I had left over from putting them in my jar. And another friend of mine, Gwen Valenti, shared with me one time when I was at her house in um, how putting pears on the grilled cheese would taste. Okay, on this other one, on one side, I'm gonna put some provolone cheese. And on the other side, American cheese, it's gonna be, I always put American cheese, but I'm not going to put pear preserves on that one. This is some pineapple jalapeno jelly that I made this year. It was the first time that I had made it. It's not too hot, but it's, it's really good. So I'm gonna put that on this side. All right. I have some butter that I have softened a little bit just to make it easier to put on my bread. And I'm gonna, I've got my iron skillet heating up over here. You know, you could really put anything you want on the grilled cheese. I have seen people put a, a slice of uh, ham or whatever but this is just gonna give it a different taste. I'm gonna go ahead and put the buttered side down. I hear it sizzling. And then I'm gonna come over here. Let me turn it down. I may have it too high, it's smoking. I'll come over here and put butter on the other side. Now, I uh, just, when I made my uh, pineapple jalapeno, I did, um, I just went to go, uh, Pinterest and found a recipe. And it turned out great, I think I burned. No, not quite. Had it too hot though, you have to be really careful. I wanted to save time and almost messed up. But I think what we're gonna do with this tonight is I'm gonna half them, and Harold will have one of the jalapeno pineapple jelly grilled cheese, and I'll have a half, and then he'll have one of the, yep, that's ready, of the um, pear preserves. It is a quick, quick meal, and especially, 
especially if you um, had soup or, or something to go with it. But you know what? We have some salad in the refrigerator, so we're gonna have a grilled cheese and a salad tonight. It's a good Friday night meal. And uh, I have something, the next time I video, it's a, it's a casserole that I think you'll all enjoy. But I just wanted to tell you, thank you for the encouraging words that you gave me. I'm not gonna get down, because as long as I can, I'm gonna share my recipes, share my cooking, and I'm gonna let you know to be salt and light. It helps so much when you're out and about and somebody gives you a smile, because you know that they're showing love. So wherever you go, be salt and light and show the love of Jesus. Thank you.